it's Lavon. Welcome back to my channel and to Step by Step. Today we're looking at a uh, part two of the um, smelling like a rose or sexy secretary. Can't decide what to call her, but she came in not smelling like a rose. I did part one last week and explained the process of getting rid of the terrible odor. So um, it's all smooth sailing from here <laughs> at least we're we're moving upward so um again to recap i did a thorough cleaning with white lightning and then coated everything with the boss and i used clear because i thought i would be distressing through to the wood so the piece w had some big thick shelves instead of regular shelves so i had some plywood and i made little shelves for it and as you can see, I progressed on some of the painting. I got the grill work done, and I put a little bit of the moonshine metallics in the Caribbean on front. So that big expanse of yellow, I wanted to soften up a little bit. And I also wanted to add additional pops of the yellow somewhere else in the piece. So um, in retrospect, I might not have used that bright of a color, but it, it doesn't show over the whole piece. Now the front of the piece, I didn't really like that um, just expanse of the Caribbean. So that's why I put some molds on there. And then on the bottom, I took, uh, I actually made a photocopy of the rice paper that I used to line the back of the upper cabinet with. And then I decoupage them on the drawers. Um, so one of the things that happened, and sometimes this happens like just things will work out and it, it dictates your next move. So um, I definitely wanted to make this distressed inside so it wouldn't be quite an expanse of that bright yellow. So uh, when I put the decoupage on the back of the cabinet, as it dried for some reason, it just kind of got a little brown tint to it. So that meant I would use brown wax. And of course I co coated it with clear wax first. And I put another little knob in there, a pretty glass uh, knob, and I am now just kind of moving that brown wax around so that it looks essentially like old dirt. But we know it's clean old dirt, <laughs> just for looks. I just love this secretary. I think it's going to be really functional for someone. It's just a sweet little desk. Imagine putting your bills and you know just your correspondence and all that good stuff you can even slide your laptop underneath the um the cabinet or the the drawer part there's a little room underneath so um i was you know pretty i like this piece a lot i love secretaries so i was really happy to get my hands on it so the waxing continues i am moving on up so you can see a little bit don't mind the lighting here because i was really working desperately in the front of the store so if you just focus on the cabinet you'll be okay <laughs> so i put a molding around that keyhole and i'm just waxing that a little bit so yesterday was the first day that we were able to open our store so that's why i was like rushing to get this piece finished because um I sold so many pieces while we were in quarantine on Facebook Marketplace that I needed to get a few pieces done. So I'm still working on that and um, we definitely had customers yesterday. I did uh, cute little chairs and they sold and um, love it, whom I share a space with. They sold uh, some clothing yesterday because it was 50% off. But not everybody's out and about yet. Uh, we need to give them a little bit of time, I think. And uh, we're definitely wearing masks and social distancing. And I think we'll be okay. But uh, definitely wasn't packed yesterday. So here's what I did to the front. Again, I had that big expanse of the metallic, that Caribbean. And I did do the lettering on there, that script and now I added these molds and these are Iron Orchid Designs uh, molds but I'm doing the clear wax all over this piece all over the front and you know the brown wax is exactly what this piece needed I was actually going to do some sanding 
uh, to distress, but uh, once I started doing the brown wax, that just set it off for me. So I just totally love the way um, it looked in the corners. That antebellum blue and the Caribbean. In my opinion, antebellum blue and Caribbean are very similar in tone. It's just that the um, Caribbean is metallic, so it gives a shimmer. Um, but they're really close in color. And also, I think the brown wax just sets off that um, antebellum blue just beautifully. I just love the combination. So I always want to remove the excess. Uh, and again, if you haven't seen my videos before, I have a love affair with clear wax. So um, they do sell the four ounce wax now, um, but I always buy the larger one because I just use it so much. I use a big brush and just cover that whole piece. To me, it's like moisturizer. <laughs> and of course, I love my Dixie Belle products. So if you would like to buy some Dixie Belle products, uh, my affiliate link is in the description box and you can also go to lavintagedecor.company um, so again I come in with the brown wax and if you notice I'm only going to the details I don't really want to cover the whole thing um, that's why we have these pretty colors but the, to me the waxes are just accents so um, and I also, at the end, a lot of times I'll come in with gilding wax and do a little accenting. And you know, I know there's always less is more and more is more sometimes. Um, I could have done a little bit more with gilding waxes, but I felt like this piece had enough bling. So I felt like it was a good balance between a rustic look and the blingy look. So I do the molding and of course wipe that back a little bit. but also um, around the edges because uh, there's a little bit of molding detail in there and also um, the corners I love to get the corners because anywhere where it's gonna look like it you know naturally would would age there or, or gather dirt <laughs> So do you like to distress your pieces? I hope you're um, it being adventurous and uh, I actually, you can use glaze or you can use wax and I'm more of a fan of the wax, just love wax. Um, I think I just love the texture. Like I said, I feel like it's moisturizer uh, for your skin as wax is to furniture. So um, that's just my opinion, but I love it. And I think it's easier. The glaze, um, to me, it's just a little harder to manage. But, you know, it's all a matter of preference. And don't get me wrong, though. I think it's easier, but wax can be time-consuming. Because you don't want it to gather in spots, and sometimes you don't get enough, and you have to come back in. And you just want to get just the right area so it takes some time I, as you see i use a small stencil brush to do my waxing and sometimes i'll come in with a couple colors of wax too but the brown was just perfect for this and i wouldn't have thought that i wouldn't have thought of putting uh the brown on the caribbean but i really love the way that just accented that uh, metallic so I'm going to be getting a little more adventurous with some of the uh, Moonshine Metallics. I really love the Deep Woods. It's a green color. They're all beautiful colors. The texture on them is a little bit thinner. So I'm moving down to the drawers now. Doing the clear wax, of course, first, and I'm covering everything. Because I sealed the hardware, and I'm also, um, you know, covering over the decoupage that I did. So I sealed and painted the hardware, so I just want to make sure that I'm waxing it as well. I forgot to turn my do not 
disturb off so you're hearing my notifications nobody wants me until I'm doing a video <laughs> See how the, the brown wax looks in the corners and also on the handle on the right. Um, you can see that one a little closer. But I'm just going over the decoupage flowers a little bit and I kind of really like what it uh, did to them. But doesn't that brown look gorgeous on that antebellum blue? And then again, just kind of wiping it back and and kind of uh, just gently wiping it in. And I also like it when the wax sets too. So I, believe it or not, I'm still fussing a little bit with this piece. It's basically ready for sale. But um, when I opened the sides um, where you'll see where I added the, uh, the yellow uh, with the keyhole, I want to distress that a little bit too. Um, just feel like that needs done. Okay, and there she be. So that's in my store. I got it moved and uh, situated, but you can see a few close-up details of how that brown wax looks and how that piece accented the center front of the desk. I love the way the keyhole turned out. These are just um, little keys that you can buy like in the craft section because it didn't have a key, but it does help open the door. It's just a cute little detail. So you see, I might want to add a little bit more um, wax on that. It's a little bright, but um, it's still, again, that was my concept was the center of the flower. But yes, I want to add a little more wax there. But basically, it's done. And I did the sides of the drawers so that we covered on the first video. Details, details, details. And this little uh, secretary is full of them and you know couldn't decide on the name smelling like a rose or sexy secretary <laughs> so what do you think you can comment and let me know what you think she should be called really appreciate you watching today and I hope that you join me next Saturday for another step-by-step -step. and also now on Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock we're doing Tuesday talk so you can visit us on levintagedecor.company and also on Instagram we're levintagedecor and on Facebook we're levintagedecor Altoona stay well